Hey, what's up church? Welcome to the last day of my reflections on leadership based on the book of Judges uh, and the story of Deborah and Barak. So one of the things that's really important in leadership is being humble. Uh, this is not something I have always been good at in the past. Um, sometimes I get carried away when I do things uh, and I kind of go, oh, that was really great. Wasn't I, wasn't I good like leading worship yesterday and things like that. And it's really easy to get carried away because it's a human thing, right? It's natural that as humans, we want to be appreciated um, and respected and remembered for all the things we do and all the things we offer. And we kind of naturally sometimes chase that spotlight. When we think of leaders, we probably think of the people we see all the time on TV, things like prime ministers, um, presidents, uh, social media influencers, kind of celebrities, sports stars. And we think of all those people that are permanently in the spotlight. But just as important are the, are the, is the leadership that goes on behind the scenes, the people who kind of serve uh, their communities, the people around them, without getting any of the credit. And the story of Deborah and Barak, Barak probably got all the credit for being this kind of military leader. He kind of led the army into battle and emerged victorious. But he wouldn't have even gone if it wasn't for Deborah kind of saying, hey, I'll come with you and I'll support you. But Deborah didn't get any of the credit. She didn't kind of stand up and kind of say, I did this, I did that, wait, no, everybody remember me and look at me also because wasn't I amazing too? She kind of understood that what she was doing was for the good of Barak and for the good of God and for the good of the people around her. And so she went into that situation and led uh, with a humble heart where she was basically just willing to serve the people around her and serve God in her leadership. And so as Christians, that's kind of also what we do. When we help others, when we kind of support our neighbors and the people around us, when we chat to them, when we show them love, all those sorts of things, we don't do that for personal gain. We do that to help those people and also to help bring God into their lives and to help grow his kingdom here on earth. So that's the final reflection for this week. So I hope you found something useful uh, and I'll maybe do some more reflections in future uh, on other topics. So see you next week sometime, church.